Welcome. In this video, we'll show you how to schedule a WebEx meeting using the WebEx app, the WebEx site, and Microsoft Outlook. We'll also explain the co-host role. A co-host is someone who shares many of the same controls as the host and helps support and manage the meeting. Let's start with the WebEx app. Open your app and click the meetings located on the left-hand side. Across the top you will see three options, start a personal room, join a meeting, or schedule a meeting. Click schedule a meeting to get started. Enter your meeting topic, this becomes the meeting title. Then, set the start and end, date and time. If the meeting repeats, check the recurrence box. Use the drop down menu to choose between a one time meeting link or use your personal room link. If needed, click the magnifying glass to select a conference room or physical meeting room in a designated location. If messaging is allowed, to prepare for collaboration, check the box to create a space with all meeting invitees. This allows for shared documents and chat. Next, add a meeting description and begin typing to add invitees by name. The system will auto-search internally as you type. External invitees' names will not populate automatically. If there are any scheduling conflicts, they'll appear on the right-hand side as unavailable. Advanced settings give you greater control over your meeting setup. Under security, you can set a customized password. Decide what happens to participants who aren't invited or not signed in. Auto-lock the meeting after a set number of minutes. Allow attendees to join early before the scheduled start time. And if enabled by your administrator, you can set audio and visual watermarks for added protection. Next, under audio connection, you can choose the connection type. Set a tone to play when someone enters or leaves the meeting. And control whether attendees are muted on entry or allowed to unmute themselves during the meeting. Then, under scheduling options, you can assign co-hosts who have an account on the same WebEx site or define who can be a co-host. Enable automatic recording when the meeting begins. And turn on breakout sessions for group collaboration. Finally, if you want participants to have access to features like chat or add and download files, click edit meeting options to customize those settings. When you're ready, click schedule and your meeting is on the calendar. Next, let's schedule a meeting from the WebEx website. Head to your company's WebEx site and sign in. Click the drop down under schedule and select schedule a meeting. Add a meeting topic, select the date to enter the time and duration and then enter your attendees email addresses. From here, you can enter meeting agenda details so attendees know what to expect. Next, under security, you can set a custom password, adjust join rules, choose to auto lock the meeting, allow early entry before the host and if enabled add watermarks for extra protection. Audio connection settings let you choose how attendees connect, select entry and exit tones, and decide whether participants can mute or unmute themselves upon joining. In advanced options, you can assign co-hosts, enable automatic recording, allow breakout sessions, require registration, turn on interpretation, and set email reminders. Meeting options let you control what participants can do, like chat and upload or download files from the content panel. Finally, attendee privileges let you choose if participants can share content or view the participant list when the meeting begins. Then, just click Schedule to finalize. If you use Outlook, you can schedule WebEx meetings, which you will receive an email with meeting information and can add the meeting to your calendar. Before you begin, make sure you're logged in to enable the WebEx scheduler. Click the time slot you'd like to schedule the meeting, then select more options in the bottom right to begin entering your meeting details. Add the meeting title, set the date and time, and enter the location if there's a physical room involved. Next, add your attendees. Just click in the attendee field and either select from the suggested contacts or begin typing names. Only internal contacts will show, so you will have to manually enter external invitees. You can also add files or type a meeting description in the body of the message. Now, go to the Cisco WebEx Scheduler tab and select Add WebEx Meeting from the drop-down. 
A confirmation message will appear at the top letting you know the WebEx meeting has been added, and you will see the Join Meeting button, along with instructions to join by mobile phone, phone, and video device, automatically added to the body of the invite. The host can adjust advanced scheduling options by returning to the Cisco WebEx Scheduler tab and clicking WebEx Preferences. From there, you can update your settings and access more options by clicking the drop-down arrow next to Advanced Settings. Once you've made your changes, click Update to save them. Once everything looks good, click Send. Your WebEx meeting is now scheduled. Now, let's talk about the co-host role. A co-host is someone who shares meeting management responsibilities with the host. A co-host can start or end the meeting, mute, and unmute participants, manage the lobby, record the session, and help with breakout rooms. To assign a co-host when scheduling, enter an email address and check the co-host box next to an invitee's name. During a meeting, you can assign someone as a co-host by right-clicking their name in the participant panel and selecting Make Co-host. You will be prompted to confirm making the attendee a co-host, select OK. Once confirmed, a co-host tag will appear under their name. Remember, only licensed users in the same organization can be pre-assigned. Guests can be promoted during the meeting. To wrap up, we've seen how to schedule WebEx meetings using the WebEx app, Outlook, and the Cisco WebEx site. We also covered how the co-host role can help manage and support your meetings more smoothly. Thanks for watching.